So in this project, we're going to look at how we can create a weather report using green screen technology. Now we're gonna use lots of different apps in this. So this will be a workflow video on how you can achieve this. So the first thing we're going to do is find a map for our weather report. So to do that, we're gonna go into Apple Maps. Now, if you can't find Apple Maps on your screen, you can swipe down, type Maps, and there you can see is the Maps app. So let's click on Maps app. Okay, so this is my current location, so I'm just going to zoom out here. All right, so it's a much better. So let's get the Thames Estuary in here, like so, okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot. So in order to screenshot, you press the home button and the off button at the same time. So let's do that now. There's my screenshot and you can see my screenshot has appeared at the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to crop out all of the things that I don't need in that screenshot. So let's go to photos and find that screenshot. So let's open photos and here's my screenshot and we're going to edit that by tapping the top right corner. And then what we can do, we can tap on the crop button here and then we can pull in what we want to crop. Now I'm going to crop and I'm going to make it more of a portrait than a landscape image, okay? So let's take the Thames Estuary like so. And then we can tap done in the top left corner. There's my image. Okay, so that's my first image. Now what I'm going to do is go and find some images of weather symbols. So let's go into Safari and let's type in weather symbols. Now we want symbols that are PNG, which means that they don't have a background. So we need to search for PNG images as well. So I'm gonna type in PNG there. So remember PNG doesn't have a background. So let's search for that. And then I can tap on images to open up Google images. And let's find one of these images. So let's look at this one here. Okay, now I can tell that's PNG because you can see the checkered background. If it's not checkered, then it's not PNG. So now I need to save this. Now to save it, what I need to do is I tap very gently until it flashes, lift off and tap again until you see save image and then we can tap save image. Now that's now saved into my camera roll. I can close that and let's find one more. So let's try this one here. Now that's not a PNG because you can see it's got a white background. It's not checkered. So let's close that one and find a different one. So here's one. So let's take this one. So remember we tap, hold, save image. Now let's go back to our camera roll and you can see that both of these images are now in my camera roll, as you can see. Okay, that's step one. And now we're gonna do step two, which is importing these into the app Keynote. So step two of this is to insert those images into a Keynote presentation. So let's scroll down and let's find Keynote. There's Keynote here, so let's open up Keynote. And then what we want to do in this screen is we want to choose wide because we want the presentation to be the size of a TV screen. So we're gonna click wide and then click presentation. So now we've got a white screen here. So let's get rid of the text boxes. So let's tap on the text box and press delete, tap, delete. So let's first of all, let's add our images into our keynote slides. So let's press the plus and then click okay. We want to tap on the images section and then go to photo and video. And then there is my camera roll. So let's click on camera roll. And there is my map. So let's choose map. I'm going to shrink this map down just a little bit. And I'm going to move that to this side of the screen. Can you see that orange line that's popped up? That means that image is center aligned in that slide. Let's look at that map and look for some colors that don't exist. Now, the color purple doesn't exist in there so what we're going to do is we're going to change the background to purple because then when we use the green screen we can use purple instead of green to get rid of the background so let's click on the background and tap the brush background and then tap color 
and then let's choose a purple color and there is my purple background okay so now what we can do is we can enter our symbols so let's tap on the plus photo or video and let's try our first symbol which is the sun so let's move this and shrink it down and i'm going to put this maybe here now what we want to do is we want to animate this so it appears so let's tap on it and then click animate click ok and then we're going to build in we tap the plus button next to build in and then appear now you can see there's a one that appears above the symbol so now tap done tap the symbol and copy that symbol tap again and paste now we've got our second symbol and let's put it here let's paste another one in and let's put it maybe here now if we tap our symbol and animate again now you can see one two three so this one here is going to start then it's going to go to number two then it's going to go to number three let's click done and then add another image let's tap the cloud shrink this down now let's move that into the correct position like so i'm going to tap it again animate build in appear done tap copy tap paste and move that into the right position tap animate and then you can see one two three four five that is the order of my animations then we can click done now notice i've put everything to the right side of the slide because on the left side is where we're going to put ourselves when we do our video so the last thing we need to do in keynote now is export this as a movie so we're going to tap on the three dots in the corner then we're going to go to tap export then we're going to tap movie this is going to ask how long we want between each of our builds now that's going to be when we want these symbols to appear so how long do we need to speak before each symbol appears so we only have to worry about the second one of these so i'm going to tap up to five seconds so that means i need to talk for five seconds between each of the symbols appearing and then we can tap export that's going to export the presentation and then we can choose how we want to send this now we want to send it to our camera roll so let's save the video tap save video and that's going to save the video to the camera roll now what we want to do is really repeat this so we've got a second video that we can use so this might be the next day's weather forecast so let's tap on a symbol and click animate and then this time we're going to tap on the animation and then tap order now let's move these around just a little bit so instead number five now so let's tap number five let's number five now becomes one and number two number four now becomes two number three becomes three etc so you're moving the symbols around and then we can tap out and then we can now you can see the numbers have changed so let's tap number four and move that around tap number one to here number four back etc so you would move things around so you've got a second one now this will be your second video so we can set we can now tap done three dots export movie and we're going to use the same build here so let's export that so now we've got two videos that we can use in our green screen app and once again we're going to tap save video and that's going to save the video to the camera roll okay so that's the keynote section of this project in step three we're going to look at how we can use the green screen app to create our green screen video so in step three of our project we're now going to use the green screen app 
So let's find the green screen app. So if we swipe down, type in green screen, it's this one that looks like an octopus. So let's tap on the octopus. And then what we're going to do when we're in our green screen app, we're going to tap the plus in the top right corner and create a new project. So the first thing we're going to do is import our first video. So let's tap on the middle track here, the plus at the end of the line on the middle track. Can you see it's turned blue? So now let's go and find a video that we've shot. So let's go to all, and the first one is this one here. So we're gonna tap that and use. There's our video. So as we go along, it's about 30 seconds long. But there's a problem. If you look very carefully, you can see a lot of the roads on here have turned black. Now that's because the current color that we're using to replace the background is green. So we need to change that to purple. So let's tap on the color wheel. Now let's move our little ball here around until we get to a purple and you see it will go black. And there, look, there is perfect. Our colors on the map are aligned. So we can click and stop that. Okay, so now what we need to do is put ourselves inside the video. Now we're gonna tap the plus at the end of the bottom track. So let's tap on that and you can see it's gone blue. And then we're going to tap camera. That's gonna put me into the scene now. Now you can see here, there is my map and now I can start recording. So let's press the record button. Hi everyone, welcome to today's weather forecast. So I'm gonna to talk to you about how the weather is in this area here, which is near about Canvey Island area. It's gonna be a bit sunny, and if we go north, we can see the sun is gets coming out a bit out of the clouds. We've also got some sun and clouds in the south there in Kent. But over here we've got some rain, so we have to be very careful here when you're driving down these roads. And we've got some rain over here as well. So that's, this, that's today's weather, now let's look at tomorrow's. So then what you do is you press the stop button, and what you can do is you can preview and have a look at the video or you can save it to the camera roll. Now for the purpose of this, we're gonna save that to the camera roll. So that's now saved to our camera roll. So now let's look at our video. Hi everyone, welcome to today's weather forecast. So I'm gonna to talk to you about how the weather is in this area. There we go. And once we're happy, if we're happy, we can press done. If we're not happy, we can tap on the video delete and record it again. So what you would need to do now is tap on here and create a second one for your second video. So your maybe your second day's video. You don't have to do that, but that's something that you may want to do and we can edit those together. So the final part of this project is to take all these videos that we've done and then piece them together into a main professional looking movie. So we can use iMovie for doing that. So we can swipe down, type iMovie, and it's this star, so let's tap on the star, and let's tap on the plus to create a new movie, and then tap on movie. So what we need to do now is select the movies that we want into our main professional looking movie. So let's select the first one first. So let's, let's select this one and then create movie. We can always add other movies later. So let's have a look. Do we need to edit anything out of this? So let's watch it through. Hi everyone. We could probably trim a bit of this. So we can tap the video, split, split the clip by tapping split and then tap that part of the video and then delete. We can also go up to this wheel at the top, this cog, and we can change our music. So let's change the, put the theme music in. Fade in from black and fade out from black. So let's try that and see what happens. Hi everyone, welcome to today's weather forecast. You can hear now that it's added a soundtrack to that. Now we can change that soundtrack by deleting it and then add in some audio and go into theme music. Maybe let's do some news. Let's use that. Okay, pause that and let us play. Hi everyone, welcome to today's weather forecast. So I'm gonna to talk to you about how- this Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then we go to the end of the video. Let's have a look at what we can do here. 
we can add our other video back to media video recently added and let's choose our second video that we did which is this one here and then we can add it now we've got our whole weather forecast here and we can trim this one if we want as well but let's change the transition by clicking on the transition there and maybe doing a dissolve or let's do the theme and see what happens there so this is what it's going to look like this that's today's weather now let's look at tomorrow's so there's our video you can see our transition as it goes through so now let's put a title in so up here let's split the clip about here and do a split and in here tap on this particular part of the clip and then tap titles and then let's put a lower title in and maybe this one here and type in there we can delete this done okay so now we've got our video let's play Hi everyone welcome we've got our title in okay so that's how we would use iMovie so that's pretty much the whole project you can play around with some of these tools to suit what you want to do and i hope you create a great weather report movie thanks for watching please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos until next time goodbye